Have you ever wondered what happens to dormant nuclear power plants? They're like sleeping giants, aren't they? Waiting for an opportunity to awaken and flex their immense power. One such giant is the Bataan nuclear power plant, tucked away in the tropical landscapes of the Philippines, a relic of the past. This plant was completed in 1984, but its potential has never been tapped into. Now, imagine a completed nuclear plant, a symbol of technological progress and energy innovation, lying dormant for over four decades. Curious, isn't it? But why has it been left untouched all these years? The answer is twofold economic viability and safety. These are the two key factors that have kept this giant in a deep slumber. However, recent developments have stirred some intrigue. A new player has entered the game and it's none other than South Korea. Their government-owned Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power, or KHNP, has signed an agreement to conduct a feasibility study on reviving the Bataan nuclear power station. This move follows a summit between the South Korean and Philippine presidents, signaling a potential shift in the Philippines' energy landscape. The current Philippine president, Marcos Jr., has expressed support for nuclear energy, aiming to establish a 2,400-megawatt nuclear power capacity by 2032. But could this old plant be the key to achieving this ambitious goal? Could the Bataan nuclear power plant finally awaken from its slumber and contribute to meeting the Philippines' growing power demands? The intrigue surrounding the future of the Bataan nuclear power plant is palpable. So much so, it's like a thrilling page-turner that you simply can't put down. With South Korea stepping in, will this long, inactive nuclear power station finally have its moment in the sun? Are you curious to know how South Korea is stepping in to revive this long inactive nuclear power station? Why would anyone consider reviving a dormant nuclear power plant? This question might seem puzzling at first, but when you start to dig a little deeper, the answer becomes clear. Nuclear power has immense potential. Nuclear energy is in fact one of the most efficient forms of energy production we have. It's capable of generating massive amounts of power from a relatively small amount of fuel. It's a low carbon energy source, which makes it a powerful tool in the fight against climate change. And unlike renewable sources like wind and solar, nuclear power doesn't depend on weather conditions. It can produce electricity around the clock. But what about the costs? Is it economically viable to bring a dormant nuclear plant back to life? Well, that's a complex question. Reviving a dormant plant can certainly be costly, but when you factor in the long-term benefits, the steady supply of power, the job creation, the boost to local economies, it starts to look like a wise investment. This is particularly true in a country like the Philippines, where power demands are growing rapidly. The country is in a period of economic growth, and with that comes an increased need for reliable, affordable energy. Nuclear power could be the key to meeting those demands. Of course, safety is always a concern when it comes to nuclear power. But technology has come a long way since the days of Chernobyl and Three Mile Island. Modern nuclear plants are designed with multiple layers of safety measures, and the industry has learned valuable lessons from past mistakes. So, to circle back to our opening question, why revive a dormant nuclear plant? The answer is simple. It's a way to harness a powerful, efficient, and low-carbon energy source. It's a potential solution to growing power demands. And with the right safety measures in place, it can be a safe and economically viable venture. But is this venture safe and economically viable? Well, that's a question we'll delve deeper into in our next segment. Stay tuned. How is South Korea contributing to the revival of the Bataan nuclear plant, you ask? Well, let's dive right in. South Korea, a nation known for its technological prowess and innovative spirit, is now extending its expertise to the Philippines through the Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power Company, or KHNP. This company is no stranger to the world of nuclear energy, with a firm footing in the industry and a reputation for excellence. Recently, KHNP inked an agreement with the Philippine government. The objective? to conduct a comprehensive feasibility study on the Bataan nuclear power station, a facility that was completed back in 1984, but never operated. This study is set to evaluate the plant's economic viability and safety, two crucial factors for any nuclear power operation. This move marks a significant milestone in the ongoing South Korean-Philippine summit. 
with the Philippines actively exploring nuclear energy options to meet its growing power demands. South Korea's involvement is not merely coincidental either. With a shared vision for sustainable energy and a commitment to technological advancement, this partnership is a testament to the power of international collaboration. Now, the Philippine President, Marcos Jr., has been quite supportive of nuclear energy. His ambitious goal, to establish a 2,400 megawatt nuclear power capacity by the year 2032. And with South Korea's proven track record in the nuclear energy sector, this goal might not be as far-fetched as it seems. But it's not all about power generation. This partnership also holds promise for economic stimulation, job creation and the development of a skilled workforce in the nuclear energy sector. And while we're talking about potential benefits, let's not forget the potential for significant greenhouse gas emission reductions, a crucial step in the fight against climate change. Now that we know who and why, the question remains, how much will it cost? That, my friends, is a question for our next chapter. Stay tuned. What are the potential costs of rehabilitating a nuclear power plant? A question that's undoubtedly on the minds of many as we delve into the economic implications of resurrecting the dormant Bataan nuclear power plant. The rehabilitation of such a facility is no small financial undertaking. Previous estimates suggest a staggering figure of between three to four billion dollars. This colossal sum would cover the cost of updating aging infrastructure, ensuring safety standards, and bringing the plant up to modern operational standards. However, it's crucial to view this figure not as a cost, but as an investment. A fully operational Bataan nuclear power plant could provide a significant boost to the Philippines' power capacity. The current goal is to establish a 2400 megawatt nuclear power capacity by 2032. This would not only meet the growing power demands of the country, but also reduce reliance on imported energy, thereby saving the country a considerable amount of money in the long run. But the economic benefits extend beyond energy production. The project would also create numerous jobs during the construction phase and ongoing operation of the facility. This would provide a much needed boost to the local economy and could lead to the development of new industries and services in the region. Moreover, the project could put the Philippines on the map as a leader in nuclear energy in Southeast Asia. This could attract international investment and pave the way for collaborations on future energy projects. However, as with any investment, there are risks. Unexpected costs could arise during the rehabilitation process and the global energy market is notoriously volatile. But with careful planning and management, these risks can be mitigated. With the costs considered, what does the future hold for the Bataan nuclear power plant? As we move forward, it's clear that the potential benefits of this project could far outweigh the initial investment, sparking a new era of energy production in the Philippines. What does the future hold for the Bataan nuclear power plant? As we look ahead, the journey of rehabilitating this dormant giant isn't without its fair share of challenges and potential hurdles. Firstly, there's the matter of economic viability. Reviving the Bataan plant could cost between three and four billion dollars. That's a significant investment, even for a country as economically robust as South Korea. It's a gamble where the dice are loaded with questions of safety, environmental impact, and public acceptance. Then there's the question of time. Time, as they say, waits for no one, and certainly not for a nuclear power plant that's been idle since 1984. The target is to establish a 2400 megawatt nuclear power capacity by 2032. That's a mere eight years to breathe life into a 30-year-old giant. There are also broader implications to consider. The Bataan plant could become a beacon for nuclear power in the Philippines and beyond. It's a bold statement, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and resilience, and a potential blueprint for other nations with similar dormant nuclear plants. However, the road ahead is paved with uncertainty. The future of nuclear power in the Philippines hangs in the balance, teetering between the promise of progress and the specter of the past. The success of this project could reshape the country's energy landscape, while its failure could cast a long shadow over nuclear energy's prospects in the region. 
Yet it's in this uncertainty that the true spirit of exploration thrives. It's here, in the face of the unknown, that we push the boundaries of what's possible. And it's here that the story of the Bataan nuclear power plant unfolds. A story not just of a power plant, but of a nation's ambition and the collective will to turn dreams into reality. Only time will tell if this ambitious project will light up the future of the Philippines or not. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.